Hello everyone, today we have got this motherboard Gigabyte GA-H270-HD3P It came on for no power We will test it together and we will see what we will find It's a pretty nice motherboard I think it's a gaming motherboard The customer did not bring the CPU or the RAMs so we we, we cannot test it but we will do what we can do on finding what's wrong with the motherboard and we will fix it okay first we need to check the power rails 3.3 volt rail 5 volt rail 12 volt rail minus 5 volt rail minus 12 uh, 12 uh, volt rail and then the CPU Vico rail okay we will check them to see if we have a short to ground. We'll set the multimeter in beep mode and we'll connect one probe in the ground and then we'll start checking the rails. First the 3.3 volt rail, again 3.3 volt rail, no shorts. Then we have ground, okay, then you have 5 volts, ground again, then we have 5 volts again, then we have ground again, then we have PD, no short, then we have 5 volt VSP, no short, then we have 12 volt plus 12 volt, then we have plus 12 volt again, then we have 3.3 volts and no short, just then this line we have 3.3 volt minus 12 volt ground then power supply on ground 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 then we have minus 12 5 uh, minus 5 volt then plus 5 volt plus 5 volt plus 5 volt then ground so we do not have any shorts on this side of the motherboard then we will check the cpu v core from this socket and here we should have ground in this lower lines then and also we have 12 volts in this line so we must have no shorts between these two lines okay so we'll connect one to the ground one to the ground and one to the grounds yes we have ground then in here we should have we should have no short to the ground. We do have short in here. So we have a problem in this side of the motherboard. First we will check the CPU socket for any damage, if we have any damage. We'll turn on the microscope. Come on. What's wrong with you? It's selected to be GA. Come on. What's wrong with you? Yes. Should come now. What's wrong with you? Disconnect HDMI cable from the camera. You select HDMI. Okay. 
strong with this camera. Yes. If you can see, uh, we need to change the position of the camera so we can see the screen. Okay, so we need to check the CPU socket for any visual damage. looks like everything is okay so now we need to inject 5 volts okay Close this one so now we need to inject 5 volts to this socket where the short is I'm going to solder a wire and let me just in this one of these connections. Okay. I will inject voltage in these connections where the 12 volt should be and we will use the thermal camera to check where is the fault Now I will turn on my power supply. I set it to one volt, uh, three volts. Let's say two amps. Okay. I need to turn on my thermal camera. Okay, now I will inject 3 volts, you can see in the power supply here, 2 amps in this uh, 12 volt rail, where the short is. As you can see, it draws 2 amps, almost 20, yes. Now I'll, I'll use my thermal camera to check where is the component that causing the short. That's my other station. Maybe the other side. There is nothing in the other side. Looks like we need to raise the ampere. Yeah, 
this. I need to raise uh, to raise the amps, so it go to 3.5 amps. Okay. Do we have anything that's heating up? You can see in here hot spot in here. If you can see. So one of these two MOSFETs in there is heating up. They are both heating up. So I need to remove them and check if we still have short. Okay. Okay, now I have applied Captain tape in this area, you can see in here. To avoid these caps from popping up. So, this is the MOSFET that I am going to remove. And we will check if we still have a short, okay? Okay, so I, now I will check the socket, we still have short. This is the ground, yes, and this is the 12 volt, and no longer we have short. So this MOSFET was shortened the 12 volts CBUV core. It is 4C06N, I don't know if you can see it on the screen there. Now, I will grab another motherboard, donor board, this one, and I will try to find the same number, it was 4C06N, okay, I will move this over first. <coughs> C one zero four C six zero six yes this one these two are exactly identical like the one I have just removed this one four C zero six and four C zero six and we have another others yeah also we have these two I will take out this one 
and fit it in the other board and we will see if that fixed the problem. First, we need to prepare that pads. We need to apply low melt solder in order for it to get soldered properly. And so we'll apply flux. Clean it up. Still hot.
Okay, now let's test again if we still have short. Okay. One broke to the ground in here. One. This is the ground. Okay, we have ground. And this is the 12 volt. No longer short. So we can call this a fix. And we cannot test it as long as we don't have the CPU or the RAMs. So we'll send it back to the customer and we will hope it works. Thank you for watching and see you in another video.